right guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval so today i wanted to go ahead and work on the building a little bit more that we're working on here and looks like we need more resources so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and send probably somebody out to do that uh we need to get some more resources and stuff like that now i'm not doing i'm not sure how we're doing on um barley and stuff i know that we quite a bit yeah um let's see here got quite a bit of it don't we um we could always go ahead and make a shipment of barley i guess uh that might help with that we're, we're it's spring so we're going to be able to basically um create more barley so that's not going to be an issue i don't think how are you doing on linen and then we got full shelves there. Should have um, more shelves over here. Oh, we got more barley over here too. Okay, so this is all linen cloth. Uh, we should be able to ship some of that out too, I think. So we'll do that today and hopefully we can get um, at least some resources for what we need. Now I'm not sure if we're going to be able to build this entirely today. Um, even with purchasing a hundred stone block or bricks, I don't, limestone bricks, I don't think it's going to make like a huge difference for <laughs> this entire, uh, first floor. So, uh, we will need to do mining and stuff like that. We do have some limestone here that we've been mining out. So hopefully that can help a little bit more, but we definitely need to, um, get somebody on the road and stuff like that. So we'll do that in the morning. Uh, when uh, our settlers wake up and stuff like that uh, because we're gonna send out our bard I think and then that way we can go ahead and uh, make sure that we have um, a good deal on the uh, purchasing of the uh, things there and we can also send it to a different faction I think if we go to this one over here it's a little bit closer but we might be able to get um, some rep with them instead so I think that might be good We'll see how it turns out, though. I'm not sure how it's all going to do and work its way out and stuff like that. But we do need to get rid of some of these dead trees, I think. They do give a negative mood effect, so I'm trying to remove the dead ones. At least I try when I can. But I'll do that right now. Remove some of these dead ones here. Alright, so we'll just wait for the autosave and then we'll get into today's video.
All right, so <laughs> we got another auto save. That's funny. Uh, it just seems to be one of those days where auto saves are just like happening a lot, even though it's about the same amount of time between i mean it's always right at midnight but it feels like it's like every time that i start recording but anyhow we have this um ritual for the oak brethren uh which um we're going to be sacrificing a goat i'm not sure how old this goat is two years so also some food for us so that's good and we got two alignment with uh that faction that we actually have our caravan at so we can go ahead and take a look at the stock here. If they don't have anything, then it's not a wasted trip. We can always um, use the rep with them. So let's see here. We got, they have gold. Um, limestone bricks, there we go. All right, we'll buy some of those. I'll sell that. We can actually get um, a pretty decent amount. I'm going to actually go ahead and just purchase what I can with for storage, and then I'm going to gift them the rest of it. Uh, we could maybe grab some of those coins as well, though. There we go. All right. And, yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to gift them the rest of the um, linen cloth. See if we can't get uh, full. A little bit more rep with them. Nine rep. That's not too bad. Okay, so what were you at with them um, at the moment? We have 14%. They're still neutral. Uh, we might make them another trip over here. Uh, might go to that one next and see if they have any stone bricks there. But um, we can send that guy back. And that will give us a little bit more materials here. So we don't have to keep crafting them. Well, not all of them. And I wanted to get that stairs in as well, so we'll be trying to get that in here. I have to mine down a little bit more. Now, I was thinking um, what we could do is make this an entirely encased wall area. So we could use bricks maybe for that. I'm not sure. Uh, if we stick with the stone bricks um, st or limestone blocks, it might be a little bit better. It might be more consistent uh, for textures and stuff like that, but it um, does require a little bit more materials. Uh, for stairs, I'm just going to use wooden ones for this, and that will allow us to get down to there. Then we can switch sides and go down the other direction.
All right, so we got that uh, the, the walls for planned for the next floor. So I like how this is looking. It's, uh, I would say, a little bit bigger, actually, than the other place. It feels more bigger, but I'm not sure if it really is or not. Um, it might be actually a little bit bigger, but it, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to tell because uh, this one has an upper loft area, right? So... Yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think the um, the library is bigger than the kitchen. I am curious. Maybe you have a better visual eye than me. Um, but I'm, I'm looking at it and it looks like it might be a little bit bigger. But it's hard to tell. Yeah, it might be even the same size, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be working on this. And then upstairs, what I'm thinking about doing is basically adding a third floor right here. And what we'll do here is we'll make uh, rooms for some of our settlers to um, go upstairs and stuff like that. So we'll have another stairs on this side. And then we'll go up a little bit more to the upper. Oh, we can't do it there though, can we? Okay, well, it'll have to be on this corner. Uh, that way they can get up to the um, upper part and do their thing. Uh, the reason for that is um, I want to have a little bit of housing in here for their cooks and stuff. Uh, that way they don't need to travel that far for work and it's just a little bit more efficient. But um, yeah, let's send out our uh, some barley now and we got that all set up so we can do that now. I'm I want to tell them to you, the dogs to haul these things quickly and let's go here we'll go to this one set our GPS there um, I got everyone to haul back in our animals so we should be able to get all of them so one two three uh, try to find all the ones with the 80 uh, 180 um, points Sometimes easier said than done. I really wish there was a way to filter all this, like the animals and stuff, because we have a lot of animals. And it would be nice to be able to sort by uh, animal or by weight or by name. Those would really be handy in these times. Because <laughs> you're not sure which one you want to go with and everything like that. But Alright, so we'll do that. And... We're going to need some food, so we'll grab some food and then we'll send some barley out. So... Let's... All right, so we got quite a bit of the building built today. I'm pretty happy with uh, the progress that we're making with it. Um, 
there were some issues with the gardening, so I've divided up the tasks a little bit more for um, harvesting slash planting in hopes that um, it will make the task get a little bit more done faster and they'll start actually replanting some of these things. So that's at least the goal, at least. Um, we got a lot of gold coins uh, from our travelings and who, who is this exactly? Philosophers. Oh, we actually do need to um, do that. Uh, next episode, what I'll do is I'll um, send our villager over here to trade. But outside of that, we got most of the building done. Um, I'm pretty happy with the progress. Uh, we also got stone bricks from our trades as well. So we're going to still need some more stone bricks to finish off this. But I think it will look really good when it's finished. Uh, if you are new to my community, I have a Discord server, and every season I do a community poll. So if you're interested and want to stay notified for that, then joining the Discord server and allowing notifications for the gaming community uh, will allow you to um, definitely stay in touch with the polls on that. Outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.